This week, we will begin to take the I Stations Indicators of Progress, or ISIP, assessment for reading at home. Next week, we will take math. This assessment helps teachers understand how they can personalize your child's learning. Select the subject you want to work on today. ISIP is computer adaptive or personalized depending on whether your student is answering a question correctly or incorrectly. If a question is answered correctly, the next question will be more difficult, and if it's answered incorrectly, the next question will be less difficult. And this provides a clear picture of what each student knows and is ready to learn next. So depending on um, where your student is and what your student's um, strengths and weaknesses are, they will um, see particular types of activities. To get to iStation, first go to Class Link on your iPad. In Class Link, click on the iStation app. The first time you log in, you'll need to choose your avatar. Choose your avatar and click Done. You'll have two different options, reading and math. Click start under reading. You will soon take your ISIP assessment, but first click on the box with the three dots. After that, you will want to click right here where it says ISIP modeling. These are the types of activities that your child will see. This will allow your child an opportunity to practice and see what these sections will look like. So for example, they could click on the listening com comprehension activity. Okay, player, listen carefully to the instructions. I will tell you something like this. Choose the picture that matches what you hear. The cat is sleeping. This sentence tells about a cat sleeping. Tap on the correct picture to choose it. That is correct, because that is a picture of a sleeping cat. Let's look at another one. So it will provide an example and then it will give your child an opportunity to practice. Before each new activity in the ISIP assessment, they will also be given an opportunity to practice. When your child is ready to begin the assessment, go ahead and go back to the reading screen and you will click Start under ISIP. Before you click OK, please make sure that your child has a quiet place to take his or her ISIP. Um, you will also want to make sure the volume is working. It will be crucial that your child can clearly hear the prompts. Please do not help your child with answers on this assessment. We realize that that will be difficult, if, especially if you see your child struggling with an answer, but please remember this is an adaptive assessment. It is also crucial for them to show what they know or do not know on their own so that we can make informed decisions about what type of instruction your child needs but please do redirect their attention if they start to lose focus, or if you see that they start to lose focus, please press pause, have them take a quick break, and come right back. If something happens and the app closes or you press stop instead of pause, when you go back into the app or you get back to the reading screen, 
just click start again on the assessment and it should pick back up on the activity that your child stopped on. Before your child starts the ICIP, remind them to try their best and show what they know. Have them watch the following part of the video. <laughs> Hello there, kids. My name's Alex Trudeep. I'm here to show you something really neat. Soon you'll be showing us what you know, and I'm going to show you how it all goes. With your headphones on, the sound should be clear. Turn up the volume if you can't hear. Watch that pause button down below. If you need to take a break, just click it and go. If you need some help or want to hear it again, click the question mark. Help is your friend. You'll know when the test is over and done. When the ICIP logo disappears. That was fun. Only click stop when you're done for the day. It'll ask you if you're sure you want to exit today. Click yes if you're sure and you'll be on your way. Click no if you still want to stay in. Play. Think about each question, focus as you go. By choosing the right answers, you'll show what you know. It's very important to do your best, cause your path through I station depends on the test. With all that said, reading is fun. Have a hoot on I station. Now I gotta run. <laughs>